Welcome to Two Minute Tactics, where we look at a recent game and focus on the tactical approach of the teams. Hi guys, this week we're going to be looking at the Wolfsburg versus Dortmund game. But before we get into this week's video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. And if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. So we're going to be looking at Dortmund's 2-0 win over Wolfsburg. But first off, let's have a look at how the team's lined up. Okay, so starting off with Wolfsburg, who starts off in a 4-4-2 formation. Castile's in goal. Mbabu, Pongrasic, Brooks and Resilion made up the back four. Stefan, Schlager, Arnold and Mehmedi as the midfield four. And Ginchek and Beghorst up front. Looking at Dortmund, similar to how they set up against Schalke uh, in a 3-4-3 formation. Uh, Berkey in goal, the back three of Piszczek, Hummels and Akanji. And then we have Hakimi and Guerrero occupying the, uh, the wing-back positions with Delaney and Dehoud in midfield. And then the front three of Torgan Hazard, Julian Brandt and Haaland up top. Let's get two minutes on the clock. And let's go. Okay, so in the first half of the game... Wolfsburg were just trying to frustrate Dortmund, restrict any space, restrict chances, and they were doing that uh, to an extent, but Dortmund were having lots of possession. When Dortmund's back three had the ball, especially Matt Hummels, so if we have the 4-4-2 moving up here, they weren't actively looking to press the back three, especially Hummels, but Hummels is their strongest player on the ball and is their biggest presence and in possession, he's very confident and he's able to play through the lines. He's a great passer to the ball, he steps in well. But the Wolfsburg um, strikers weren't looking to press. Instead, they were dropping off, trying to prevent any gaps through, prevent passes into midfield. But eventually, Hazard and Brandt were finding gaps, dropping in maybe to form a three in midfield. So then there was a little bit of an overload and they were forcing players out of position. And then Dortmund got the goal by getting the ball wide quickly. A fantastic run from Hazard uh, took the space for Hakimi to then drive the ball into the box and Guerrero arrive late. What we found with Dortmund is that a lot of their play does start from the back three. Okay, they will bypass the two midfielders, two workmen like midfielders in Delaney and Dehoud at the minute, but it all stems from Matt Hummels. Okay, he's able to play wide, so the two uh, wide centre backs as well, obviously, one of them naturally being Piszczek, who is a who is naturally a right back, and then Akanji, who's a left footer, who's also very good on the ball. Okay, so they've always got options to play out wide to stretch the pitch and then try and get the ball in the middle. If they can't play from the back three straight into the middle of the pitch, they will go into wide areas so that uh, the opposition has to get across quickly or the space will open. In terms of Wolfsburg on the, on the counter-attack, what they were doing is Mehmedi and Stefan, the two wingers, would come inside in possession. So if the centre-back had the ball and they've got the two strikers up top and the two midfielders here... Okay, what they would look to do is, is come inside so that the fullback had space to bomb on. Okay, because the two strikers are two six foot plus strikers, so they're looking to get the ball into the box, win the ball, or score a header. But so what they would have then is that extra man running in each side to try and create an overload, try and create danger for Dortmund, but they just didn't have enough opportunities for it. In the second half, Hummels was replaced by Emre Chan uh, as a precaution for an injury. What we saw then is Dortmund lacked. A bit of composure at the back, okay. A bit of physicality as well against the forward two. But after the first 15 minutes of the second half, Wolfsburg made a couple of changes, which then made Stefan go to left back. Uh, they brought a different uh, winger on as well, but it left gaps for Dortmund, who then brought on Jaden Sancho, who won the ball in midfield, drove forward and set off for Hakimi to score. So in terms of the first 15 minutes of that second half, Dortmund were less fluid in possession, didn't they keep the ball very well, but then their counter-attack and style came into play when they won the ball, drove at the defence with pace and killed the game off. And then after that, the game was finished for the last 15 minutes. Thanks for watching this week's video. For more content, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The links will be in the description below. And we'll see you next week for another 2 Minute Tactics.